themselves by getting stops on defense and allows them to get out in the transition. Great job by Jordan Miller to poke that ball away. He's got it to McGusty. Look away Ooh. and the layup. Pretty basketball. J.D. Davidson has come into the game, the true freshman for the tie. Ellis, oh! oh the fake, throws it down. We told you we had some dessert for you. Around the perimeter for Alabama, Charles Bediaco inside. Davison beats Ooh. the buzzer for two. That's a long two-point shot. How about the big man with the on-time, on-target pass for the dunk? I like that. Ooh. Moore buries the triple. What I think he's trying to figure out now, though, is how to put these new pieces together. And Cameron Mcgusty puts it. Three seconds, two seconds. Quinterly wasted a lot of time right there, but still buries the three. Nine in the first half. Alabama only led for about a minute of that first half, but a three at the buzzer by Quinterly. Gave them the lead, and it's now doubled with another triple, this time off the left hand of Jake Shackelford. Trying to put Ellis on skates. Ellis does a nice job of sticking with him, but even better, Wong banking it home. Miles comes to set the screen. Instead, Quinterly goes all the way to the basket. How about the putback by the freshman? Young man has springs in his tennis shoes, doesn't he? Sure does. Yeah, no doubt. One thing that's really hamstrung the Hurricanes here this week at Disney. <laughs> the lob and the finish by Pediaco. And the Crimson Tide, after losing Thursday to Iona, have bounced back in a big way with a couple of nice wins.